Hey guys, this is Eric Wanganer with Wanganer Racing. This is a little quick video about this Vortec 906. So Keith, the guy that works with me, these are actually his heads. So he got these and he painted them just to kind of keep them from rusting. And he went ahead and did a valve job, did a couple other things, had him trim down his guides um, so he could put a better seal on for one and he gets more clearance. He didn't pin the studs or nothing. Um, and these are stock ones. Now they do have hardened seats and I'll show you in just a second. But um, he's just trying to do a mild engine with them. But just for fun, we thought, well, hey, we flow it. Because I know if you guys, a lot of you guys know, I do not port cast iron heads. But I work on them as far as valve jobs and flow them just for fun. Because that's, that's not a big deal. Porting takes way longer. But anyway, he happened to get a 906. So this is what this is. Now, we've done some stuff to it, and I'll show you. So this is the head. And you probably hear the term like five-angle valve job, three-angle valve job. Well, this one actually has three angles. And I'll show you. So, um... He got it stock and we cut it out with just a three angle valve job and it looks like there's four so we'll go to like this one so if you look that'd be like angle one two three four but really the only ones that got cut was this one this one and this one that's a 60 45 and a 30 top cut that's it that's these are the most common angles you get just about anywhere anybody that got this cutter um this isn't like a high performance one it's it's just this and the reason for using it is because i don't port them if I'd use my other cutters I use for my other heads, it would have left a huge step right here because when it cuts, it's going to remove all that lip and it's going to leave a notch in there and you kind of got to port with it. Now in the exhaust, this is a radius valve job. So it's 45 is right through here, which you can see, but this is the radius cut. Now this one being a 906, not all are this way. It actually has the hardened exhaust seat, which you could see. Not all 906s do, it really kind of varies. Now also when they come, they usually look something like this which is pretty bad and they don't flow worth, they don't flow very well. This one, with, because of the radius valve job they put on it, it actually helped flow. And I'll get the flow numbers in just a minute too. But that's all that was done. So he trimmed the guide, simple valve job, easy to do stuff, um, if you got the machines, I guess. And we flowed it. This head right here, you've seen in a previous video, this is actually a ProComp slash Speedmaster Vortec head. Now, if you look at it from the chamber side, I mean, it, they look very similar. So, but as you could tell, there's a lot more material around this guide boss on both the intake and exhaust than the stock Vortec. Um, also, if you look at the valve job itself, which I didn't, I should have done a video about this one before with the stock valve job, but it looks similar to this, but just not this bad. These are hardened seats as well. Well, we flowed both. So he did do a 30 degree back cut on the intake, no back cut on the exhaust. This one actually has a back cut on both the intake and exhaust when it flowed. So let's get to the numbers. This is the stock 906 with the valve job. Now here's what's interesting. He was flowing it and I was looking over his back and I actually saw that pop up. So I told him to go back and we'll see what we get. Because he had run through the numbers and he ran through, he only would have got 218 at four, 225 at five, 224, 225. It would have been right there. He never would have saw that. But if I was watching when it happened and I saw that pop up, so we'll talk about it. So if you look, he has a at 450 lift, which is pretty common. It's 234, pretty good. 241 though, 480, really stout. Once you get to 500, it backs up on flow. And this is because the short side can no longer support the air that's going across it. The air is now ramping the short side, kind of shuts off the zone that's flowing. It flows less air. Um, and that's typical of Vortex without any port work. The exhaust flow is pretty good at 158. Now, is it outstanding? No, because really even at four, it's only 150 which honestly for a small block Chevy is pretty weak, but compared to like other stuff, like other stock heads, this is pretty good. Remember the no port work done. This is that Speedmaster head. If you compare it, it only peaked at 211. So period, an exhaust 143. So the stock one with just a valve job done to it, way better than that. So now I will get to do a valve job eventually on these. The guy's supposed to send me the other head so I could do it. And you get to see what improvements that can be made. Um, I don't know that it's going to match this, though, so we'll have a good comparison, but I don't think it will. So, anyway, there's a little bit of information for you. Hope you guys enjoy, and take care. Well, guys, since you made it to the end of the video, I'll tell you what didn't happen yesterday. What didn't happen is I didn't go racing. Um, right now I'm outside, and it's cool. Nice weather, like perfect weather. Probably would have been yesterday. I actually checked a DA because you can look at our track as an app. The density altitude was 177. Man, it had been perfect. But why didn't I? 
Truck's all loaded. It's been on the trailer ready to go. The reason why I didn't is because the Midnight's are usually a street crowd. And if you remember any of my past videos when I talked about that cars and coffee, those are the same people. So because it goes so long, like it went to like 4 a.m., I probably could have made as many passes as I want. But more likely, I would have lost my patience after the first hour or so. Um, so I don't think the track prep would have been as good because of that. But the, the actual air temp would have been phenomenal. So wasted opportunity, I guess. Are just excuses at this point but i plan to go out on friday so go out on friday and then maybe um i might drive all the way to mid-america dragway for the races on sunday maybe of next week maybe for sure for testing too on friday unless weather happens go bad again but anyway i thought i'd give you that update so anyway you guys uh thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed the vortex stuff Here's something since you stuck around. I did have this come in for you small block Ford guys. I have some CHI 3V CNC ported heads. I'm getting ready to flow, which will be pretty cool. And I know you guys, Ford guys, will love them. And honestly, they're amazing heads anyway. So uh, that'll be a cool video later on. Take care.